If you are looking to display video in your Flutter app, this is the right video for you. For example, in my simulator, I can play and pause a video that is currently streaming through network. Now, let's go through step by step on how to initialize and stream the video in your Flutter app. In this tutorial, we will be using this video player package that you can find in pub.dev. Now, add this package dependencies into your Flutter project. Coming back to main.dart file, I have created a simple UI with just a floating action button. Firstly, we have to create a video player controller. This controller comes from the video player package. Now I have set the controller variable as late, so we have to initialize the variable in init state. This video player controllers allows you to stream video from assets, content URI, file, or through network URL. In this tutorial, I will be using network URL. This constructor takes a URI object, so we have to pass the usual HTTP link to URI format. Next, with this object, we have to call initialize method. Here, I will be using cascade notation. Once it's initialized, we have to call setState method to update the controller state. Now we have completed with initializing video player controller. Next, let's display the video. Firstly, we can check if the controller is initialized. We can then display the video using video player widget. Here, I will wrap the widget with an aspect ratio widget using the same aspect ratio from the controller value. Else, if it's not initialized, we will just return a container widget. Next comes to the floating action button. Here, I will check if the video is playing. We'll set the icon as pause. Else, we'll display the play arrow. Then, in the onPress method, I will add a check if video is playing. We'll call pause method to pause the video. Else, it will call the play method to continue streaming the video. As of now, we have completed basic implementation of video player. Let's try it out in the simulator. As you can see, when I hot restart the app, the video is initialized and displayed because we set the logic on init state. Now, when I click on the floating action button, it will change to pause icon and video starts playing. When I click again, the video pause and it changes back to the play icon. In conclusion, this is how you display video in your Flutter app. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.